This video is sponsored by Hosting It. Welcome in the metaverse. VFX artists just became way more important than ever before, and that's because of the metaverse. The metaverse is a virtual world that we are going to be a part of, whether we want it or not. You might have already heard that Facebook is changing their name into meta, and yeah, this stuff is getting more real by the day. Basically, you're going to put yourself into a digital world and be able to do anything you want, whenever you want, wherever you want. The reason why VFX artists are going to be such a big part of this is because they know how to build a metaverse. It still has to be built in a 3D software, so you still have to have all the knowledge on how to do that. And who knows better than VFX artists that always try to achieve photorealism with computer-generated stuff. So that's why I wanted to challenge myself and create my own environment. So that's exactly what I will be doing in today's video. I'm going to be using Cinema 4D to create a 3D model of my environment. Then I am going to be using Unreal Engine 5 to do my rendering and my texturing using Quixel Bridge. So this is going to be a really exciting one. After that, I'm going to place myself into my metaverse using green screen. So let's get started. So I created this entire sci-fi looking environment by looking up some inspiration online and just out of the top of my head really because I was limited with time. After that I was done modeling my room, I imported that in Unreal Engine 5. The main reason is for the real-time rendering, which is insane, it can import high polycount models and you can texture it within Unreal Engine 5 and then export it in no time. So I started texturing using the Quixel Bridge, which is integrated in Unreal Engine 5 and makes it such a joy to start texturing. I did have to adjust the texture here and there and manually dive in and then you do need to get to know Unreal a little bit better, but hey, it's free, so why not try it out? All right, so once I'm satisfied with the texturing, I also take a look at the lighting. And once I'm satisfied with everything, I'm going to create a level sequencer. This is basically a timeline within Unreal Engine 5. Here I can import my camera and really choose my angle. I'm trying to match my angle as the exact same angle as my recordings. So I'm using a 16 millimeter camera. Now comes the part that I have to record myself against the green screen so I can easily remove that afterwards in post. So, the metaverse, it's kind of like the next generation of the internet. Now we are all sitting behind a computer at a 2D screen, but what if that could be 3D, just how we experience the world? For example, if you wanted to create a portfolio for your work, what if people were actually joining you in your virtual world, in your own cinema room? How awesome would that be? You can actually interact with people in real time from all over the world. So it definitely has a lot of potential. But until we get there, you still need a website if you want to be seen. So if you are planning on getting a website, you also need a hosting service. And I can propose you the best hosting service and today's video sponsor, Hostinger. Hostinger is an amazing web hosting platform that allows you to host your website at amazing prices. They have an extremely good price quality ratio and they also have a 99.9% .9 uptime, which gives you a lot of security. And you know what's even better than having great security? Having an easy setup. Here you see me logged in to the Hostinger panel. I want to set up my premium shared hosting, so I click on this yellow button. I fill in these sentences and as I'm creating a portfolio and I don't really have a lot of experience, I filled in that I'm a beginner. Once filled in, it suggests what platform I want to select. I chose WordPress and the rest is history. Go check out the portfolio website that we've made and I'll give back the mic to Ineas. You can use the coupon code INEAS, it will give you up to 91% off on all yearly plans, which is incredible. Go and check them out, the link will also be in the description. Now I'm going to be using my green screen footage and I'm going to key out myself using the Primate Keyer from the Red Giant. I really enjoy Primate Keyer because it's really easy and convenient to use. And then I'm using Super Comp, which is a part from the VFX suite from Red Giant to integrate myself into the background using light wrap and such. And voila, there I have myself integrated in the metaverse. Now you can also take it a step further and add a little bit of a transition. All I did for that is created a black solid and I'm adding a fractal noise on top of that and I add a block effect and I also put a lesser complexity here uh, just to get that blocky look and play a little bit with the settings until I get something like this and then created a new white solid after that. 
Here I masked out a part of the white solid and just animated it so it actually animates up. And then all I did was animate the evolution and I just put this on top of my footage and set it as a luma mat. Then I can also duplicate this fractal noise layer and add a find edges effect on it. That's also pretty cool to get these hologram overlays. So now let's take a look at the final result of my metaverse space. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. I'll leave you with another video of mine right here, which you can go and check out if you want to continue your VFX journey. Apart from that, I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, create epic videos.